It's a lightweight bout between Charles Dubronx Oliveira and Khabib Nurmagomedov. Chin holds up despite getting knocked down in that previous round. DC, take us through the highlight. He's as tough as they come. There has not been a guy that can take shots like this. Most times the night would be over and gladly, gladly over after you take a shot like this. But this man is just too tough. Some people say he's too tough for his own good. He would not agree with you. He wants to fight. All right, here we go now. Round two. Charles Dubronx Oliver. Hey. Versus Khabib Nurmagomedov. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Nurmagomedov gets touched by that kick right to the body there. Nicely done by the opponent. Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that one. Finds a home for that left hook. Oh, big left hook there. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the take, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good. Oh, he landed it perfectly. Perfect placement. Perfect position. What a huge blow. 
in a big moment in this fight. Oh! Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Block. he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. All right, stack guard here, the feet are on the hips. What are you trying to do if you're in top position? Oh, man, you're attacking those feet right away because you understand that the guy with the feet on the hips, all he has to do is just extend his legs. Right. He's a grown man that's pushing you off as you're trying to build into him. Attack the feet with your hands, head and chest back, lead with your hips, pass the feet, drive your knee forward, try to get the side control. Working off of his back here, looks like he may try to hip escape. Nurmagomedov's looking to pass here, denied by the opponent. Nice transition into full guard here, we'll see what he chooses to do now. He's gonna be trying to pass to half, or eventually get to full guard, full mount, sorry. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. So we call on the fight stats here. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, oh! So a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking. He's rolling and slipping. He's doing a great job. Twenty seconds left. Nurmago Medov gets the takedown here late in the round. It's a strategy you see from a lot of high-level fighters to try to sway the judges late in the round. Now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Third round underway. Strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the wow. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Missed with that attempt. Strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Another Mago Medov gets the double leg takedown. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, side control now. Mago Medov's got him in a crucifix now, gonna go to work from the top. Just over three minutes to go in round three. <laughs> Under three minutes now to go in this one. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Nermago Meta. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad. But now it's not so bad. What a fantastic He's gonna start looking to try to attack a rear naked choke, and that's exactly what he's doing. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking, because he's getting choked. Nicely done. Oh, reverse 
reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. Oh! Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, he is up, but man, is he hurt. A finish could come here at any time. Massive head kick. Transition there. Such a high level grappler. You don't see that very often. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can now try to hit the skate. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The Kimura is not the arm, it's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. But now DC trying to isolate an arm. Yep, he's using the Kimura. Official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 29 28, 30 27, and 30 27. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Khabib the Eagle, Fernando Plata. All right, so they 